hello guys how are you guys doing today i want to remind you guys again about weight loss health and just heading towards longevity hopefully for all of us and i want to update you guys about my weight loss journey i've done this years ago and i lost all my weight and sadly i put it back on due to uh other reason why i put it back on anyway but the main reason was just the fact that i give up healthy eating and exercising but yeah so today i want to show you guys how my body is going you know you can see my stomach i'm not wearing anything inside you can see how it's going you know and i'm still doing the exercises that i normally showed you guys here hopefully tomorrow um if i end up doing them i will make another video and post it here hopefully for you guys to see how i do them but um i normally exercise at least three or four days a week but mainly four days a week i've been doing for the last uh is two months now or just around two months since i started taking it seriously because it was after ramadan and that's two months now i remember and i don't just do the um the exercises what i also do which is why i'm doing this video even is um i do something called intermittent fasting and i also do um sorry i'm not used to straight wags but i sell wags i have braid wags and straight wags and stuff like this but i don't normally sell straight wags i normally sell braid wags more but I happen to um, wear this work today because I was showing it to people. <laughs> That's why I'm not, and I'm not used to wearing them. So I'm like touching it, touching it. But I do hair as well myself. So I always touch my hair when I wear any wigs or have braids on. But I cut my hair anyway. So I can't have braid on now. Also, this way the parting is in the middle. And I'm forcing it to come on the side. So as you can see, the parting is here. But anyway, let's just manage it and I'll explain what I'm here for. So yeah, what I'm here for, and it's dark, I need to put the light on, I'll come back. So yeah, why I came this evening is to show you guys stuff you can eat in the evening if you don't want to eat unhealthy food in the evening. What I normally do is, I stay in the morning, I drink like mohinga powder with hot water, or I drink like hibiscus with hot water, or I drink like lemon water, something like this, in the morning. Lemon and cucumber, or just lemon and hot water. Or I drink like hot water alone, no sugar, no tea, no coffee, just hot water alone. Mm -hmm. Or I drink like turmeric, you know, the yellow turmeric with hot water, that is good too. Or just something healthy. But I don't drink anything else mainly, apart from these things that I mentioned. And I don't take them every day. For example, I'll be drinking this week is lemon water. Sometimes I stick to the lemon water for like one week or two. And I get, get off it and I drink the mohinga for like one week. And sometimes I drink the warm water alone for one week or two. And then I drink the um, turmeric powder thingy, you know, with hot water again for like one week or so. I keep switching. And sometimes I drink the hibiscus with warm water for one week or so. You see? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I drink something called seppu, which is something that I also sell. Is this? It's very good. I don't know how to call it in English. And it smells amazing. It's good for your skin, your health. It detox you. And it smells amazing. But uh, when I drink them in the morning, I normally drink a glass of water and I drink them. And then I continue not eating until 12 or 1. Sometimes I can hold it until um, 2 or 3 nowadays, but mainly 12 or 1. Mm -hmm. And then I'll eat something healthy if I can. For the most part, I do that like 2 or 3 boiled egg or fried egg with little bit of butter healthy butter if that is or little bit of olive oil but no bread and maybe a handful of nuts mainly almond nuts with little bit of other healthy nuts um like pumpkin seeds and other healthy nuts but mainly something that have protein and healthy you know but sometimes i can have oat with baobab or something like this because baobab is really good for your health your skin your immune system just like mohinga and the rest so normally what I do is I'll have that healthy something, but in between I'm going to keep drinking healthy drink like this or just a uh, lot of water. And I'm going to avoid too much coffee 
if I'm gonna have coffee, I normally have once a day, which I normally have after I eat my first meal, or I had it. I normally have it with my first meal, but I don't like to have it in an empty stomach. When I'm doing the fasting, the intermittent fasting before the first meal, I can only eat healthy stuff like water and uh, these things that I mentioned, but not like coffee because I like to put sugar in my coffee at least one or sometimes even two spoons, especially when it's black coffee. I know, I know it's very bad, but <laughs> sometimes one or two spoons I can have it in my coffee, black coffee. Um, especially black coffee and I sell the black the organic black coffee from Africa myself but I sell the mohenga and a lot of the things by myself that I make and I sell them some I buy and remake for example this is a face oil that I sell and it's organic and this is a leaf scrub that I sell and I made them this is a sea butter organic sea butter that I make with organic coconut oil that is made from Africa Gambia with my um, from my own sister she sell them I taught her how to make it a few years ago and this is an organic black soap with namely vitamin E and other stuff. All of my products have vitamin E and organic stuff, of course, that I sell, for example. So um, I would just like eat those organic stuff with water until I eat my meal before I can have tea or coffee. I normally will have one tea after my dinner and I will normally have one coffee with my lunch or after my lunch. But mainly I don't have coffee every day. For example, I've, I've not had coffee for like a week or so. I was having it when I was in college, when it's break time, but I hardly ever have coffee like every day, every day like that. I can drink it for like one week or like for a couple of days and I'll stay off it for, for a long time, like for a week or so sometime. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, so then I'll have my dinner early and then like three or four or six, for example, today, what I did is I woke up and I've not ate and I did my exercise and everything. But when it was after one, I then eat my soup. I made a cow food soup. Cow food, some of you know it. You can cook it, it's collagen and it's very good, but you have to cook it for a long time before it's gonna be soft. Some people don't like it, they don't like the texture, but cow food is very nice and it's a traditional food for us Africans, most of us at least, especially us Gambia and Senegal. We call it Elinak. So I cooked that yesterday and it's, and it's not finished and I had the rest today. And I, because it was some potato there, so I had that alone with no bread and I put some sweet potato there as well to help me. Mm -hmm. So I had that and then I've not ate until now. So right now it's like 9.30 and I'm a little hungry. What I normally do in the evening when I'm hungry and I don't want to eat something bad or when I say something bad, I don't mean bad. I mean like carbs and unhealthy stuff, you know. So then we're going to talk about the reason why I'm doing this video. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I'm doing this video is to show you this for example i started eating this and i thought of filming it you don't have to eat the whole of this but eat as much as you can for example i'm not going to finish this i'll give some of it my son or my daughter is still wanting i have two teenagers here with me but you can eat all if you want it's melon it's not going to harm you mm. <laughs> It's so good. I love watermelon. And for people who don't like melon, although melons, they, there's so many different melon, uh, but if you don't like them, you can have things like a banana and an apple in the evening when you're hungry. Or you can definitely have your cup of mohinga in the evening. Mohinga is extremely good for you with hot water or just make it with a, a smoothie or something. But be careful how you make your smoothie as well um, for the calories and stuff. Also, you can have baobab with hot water and a little bit of honey. It's very good for evening and it's going to keep you to sleep good. Try to move around, eat healthy and have enough sleep and just help yourself to have a healthy longevity. This is the whole idea of the video. Good luck for all of us. But I just want us to focus more on health and longevity and only do what we can. Everything will be fine, yeah? 